Hey guys, Philip Homiser here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these stylized silhouettes of your children in Photoshop. Let's get started. Let's make it happen now. So a friend of mine recently asked me uh, how, if I knew how to use Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, which I have in my subscription, my Adobe subscription cloud thingy, which includes all the Adobe software, but I've never actually even opened it and, uh, and checked it out. But she showed me what uh, she was wanting to do, and so I thought, well, these tools are also available in Photoshop, so why can't you just do it in Photoshop? Um, so I attempted it and sort of failed miserably because it requires using using the pen tool, which I actually don't use very often. So uh, I'm gonna, I created my own kind of method for creating these, so it's, it's pretty quick, pretty straightforward, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in and do this. All right, so I have Photoshop pulled up here, and I have a, uh, a photo of my daughter pull up here. Now this is not the best photo, this is just a photo I snapped with my cell phone. What is important is, the uh, resolution. So let's pull up the size here for a minute. <clears throat> so you can see that this is a 4K resolution image, 3,000 by 4,000 pixels. If it's a if it's a much lower resolution image, like 600 pixels or something like that, uh, it's going to get really blocky and it's not going to look right. So make sure you have a good high resolution image uh, before starting. So now we have our image start out with here. First thing we want to do is go to the quick selection tool select uh click select object and that usually does a pretty good job at selecting the hairs and everything we could do some refining but this does a pretty good job for what we're wanting to do here so now that we have her selected we're gonna go ahead down here to the adjustment layers and we're going to go to solid color and and if this is not set to black just go ahead and drag this over to black and click OK. So now we have another layer here which has her black silhouette and at this point we could actually go ahead and just turn this layer off and we're gonna want a white background for this so let's go ahead and click the bottom layer go to our adjustment layers again and create another solid color adjustment layer but this time let's do white. And you want to make sure this layer is under your black layer otherwise you're not gonna see it. So at this point, uh, I am going to use the pen tool, but just to kind of clean this up a little bit. So you can either press P to get your pen tool or come down here to the pen tool. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to put my anchor point right around here and the other one right down here. I'm going to drag this out because I want to have like a little curve there. Let's go something like that. I'm imagining one of those stone statues of some famous person's head that you see, and it just kind of has this nice curve to the bottom of it. So I'm going to create something like that. Now we're going to we're going to want to bend this handle here, and you can do that by press by holding Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac, and grabbing this handle and turning it up to about mm, that angle right there. And we're going to put another set point about here. And I want this to be curved as well, but not as much. Maybe right around there. Also, let's go ahead and bend this handle down to about there. Now I'm just going to do a really rough just selection here. Cuz we're going to we're going to make all this go away. I'm going to come in here and then reconnect it to our starting point there. Now we're going to right click Go to make selection, and now uh, go ahead and make sure feather is feather radius is set to zero. Click OK, and now we have a selection made here. Uh, now make sure you have your top layer selected here with the layer mask, and I'm going to get my bucket tool, which you can find if you don't see it over here. You can click these three dots down here. I have mine already selected, the bucket tool there. If you don't see it, you can hold that right there and go to edit toolbar. And it's in here somewhere. You can search through here and find the bucket tool and add it to your, uh, sorry, the paint bucket tool and add it to your extra tools over here. I don't know why they took that tool away. I used to use that all the time in Photoshop way back in the days before my photo, before my photography days. But anyway, it's not in here because I already have it in my extra tools. So go ahead and click done. And you've got your 
uh, paint bucket tool. Now I want black selected because we're, we have a layer mask here. So it's black uh, and white is basically all it is. So we're going to paint black in here and that's actually going to make it white. I know that's confusing, but uh, we still have our selection made here. We want to deselect this by pressing Command D. Now we want to grab our our brush tool by pressing B or coming over here to the brush tab. I just have a soft brush selected. I'm going to use my my handy dandy tablet here, and we're going to clean this up. Now, of course, it's just black or white. I'm going to paint black onto my layer mask to erase these areas here. So I'm just going to come in here clean this up. I want to leave these hairs back here as much as possible. Now I'm using a really soft brush. I have my hardness set to zero and you can adjust all that up here in your brush settings. Here's the size, here's the hardness. I can adjust all that with my my uh, Wacom tablet which I always recommend that people get one of these if you spend a lot of time in Photoshop because it really makes life a lot easier. It's like actually drawing or painting. It's pretty cool. And down here we've got this wonky black line we can erase. And I'm actually going to just erase all of this, even the hairs. You don't want the uh, these hairs coming out by her chin because it just looks like chin hairs. <laughs> As you get closer to the silhouette here, you'll want to make your brush a little bit smaller so you don't accidentally punch a hole in your silhouette. And I'm going to switch my paint to white by pressing X. You can either switch it by pressing X or you can come down here and hit these two arrows down here. And I'm just going to paint this away right there. I'll paint it black back in there. And there we have it. We've got a really nice silhouette there. Now I'm going to crop it in, uh, get, a, get a better composition here. I like having these 5x7 crops. I use that all the time. So I'm just going to center this right about there. Hit enter. And I'm going to clean up this the hair a little bit better here. Make sure you have your layer mask selected. There we have it. Now if you want to put your logo on there, we can just grab our logo. I'm going to grab mine, put it down here, hit enter. I'm going to invert that by pressing command I. And you can position it by pressing command T by getting your transform tool and move it around wherever we want it. So I'm going to put it right about there. And there we have it. All right, that's it. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when the next videos come out. Also, giving this video a like kind of helps the algorithms. Uh, I don't know that anybody on YouTube ever actually sees my videos when they come out. I just post on Facebook and whoever sees that might uh, go see it. So if you mind hitting the like button, only if you liked it, uh, go ahead and do that and help me out here. So uh, thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.